In this video, we'll see in detail about Riga Car and Creative Park. Expect the unexpected. Log into creativepark.co.in. Register to download the latest softwares and add ons. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Download link is given below in the description. Select the zip file from install addon in Blender Preferences. You can download the scene file in the link given in description below. Before we start, make sure the model is oriented along the Y axis, which means the front of your model exactly matches the front view in 3D viewport. And make sure the wheels lay upon the grid. Rigger Car Adden expects the name convention to discover the structure of your model. It's highly recommend to rename the model and to follow a naming convention for each part as shown in the video. Your model may have multiple parts. One object for the wheel rim and another for the tire. Then parent the rim to the tire object as shown in the outliner in the scene. Let's add the car deformation rig by pressing Shift plus A from Armature Submenu Panel. Make sure you're not selected any objects in the scene. If you look at the rig, you will notice each bone is oriented in the same direction as the car along the Y axis. You can use the Operator Panel to tweak the deformation rig. This is just to show you how to tweak from Operator Panel. If you have correctly prepared your model, you should not have to tweak the deformation rig. Because, Riga Car Adden will be able to analyze your model and create an accurate deformation rig. Let's delete the rig. Select all the objects of your model and then add the deformation rig. Once the deformation rig is added, you can now generate the complete rig. Click Generate button from Animation Rig and View 3D Panel. Now you can see the rig a car addon has generated the animation widgets in four different colors. Navy blue widget is the root bone. Light blue widget is used for drifting the car. Yellow widget is the suspension. Green widget is to control steering. And the red widgets are the ground sensors. The animation widgets are dispatched over several armature layers. First four widget layers are for animators. The next three layers are for the riggers. Layer 14 contains bones necessary to tweak the position of the widgets. Press tab to edit mode to tweak the bones. Layer 15 contains main mechanical bones. This layer is mainly used to add extra bones to existing setup. Select the new bone and shift select the MCH body bone and press Ctrl plus P to make a child to main bone. The extra bones can be used for opening doors of the car model. Layer 16 contains all deformation bones. Those bones are originally added by the deformation rig. Layer 32 contains all mechanical bones. Let's start animating the car. Create a path from Curve Submenu. Adjust the path in edit mode. Increase the resolution of the path to make animation smooth. In object mode, select the path and shift select the root widget. Press Ctrl plus tab 
to pose mode. Again, press Ctrl plus Shift plus C. Select follow path in add constraint. Now you can see the root widget is constrained to the path. Let's adjust the bone constraint property panel to follow the path smoothly. Let's fix the path exactly to the center of the root widget. In object properties panel, adjust the delta transform in Y location to match your root widget. Click the checkbox, fixed position to offset animation from 0 to 1. To follow the curve exactly, click the checkbox, follow curve and set axis to minus Y. Because the model is oriented along the minus Y axis. Let's insert keyframe in offset parameter from range 1 to 250. We can see wheels are just sliding. Increase value to 1 in the wheels on Y axis parameter in animation rig and view 3D panel. To rotate the wheels along the path. Now let's create a plane for road sensors. Let's add array modifier from modifier properties panel and a curve modifier to follow the path. Increase the number of counts in array modifier. Adjust the curve in edit mode to create ups and down of the plane. When you're done with your plane, rename the plane to custom name. You can see the gap between the ground sensor widget and road. To close a gap, click the drop down menu in ground sensor sub menu. Click the eyedropper tools and click the plane. Now can see the ground widgets are close to the road plane. Repeat the same process to all the wheels. Now, let's keyframe the string widget. Now we are done with the keyframes, let's play the animation. Thank you. Subscribe, hit the notification bell.